What's going on guys? So yesterday was actually kind of a milestone day for me. It was the one year anniversary of my first upload to YouTube. And when I realized that was the date of like a week or so ago, I started thinking about all these ideas for like making a video. I, I even thought about recreating that first video and using my advanced skills at this point to make it look a little bit better. Ultimately, I decided against that. Um, I was actually gonna try and get a video out yesterday on that date, uh, but I ended up getting busy and doing other things. And so I just didn't end up having the time to get something filmed and edited and get it put out. And it's ironic to me that that's kind of how yesterday played out. Because if you go back and look at my upload history, you'll notice there's a huge four month gap in the middle. And believe it or not, it was actually four months to the day. I had uploaded on August 9th, or August 16th and didn't upload again until December 16th. And the way, like, I don't wanna go into all of why that four month gap existed. I've talked about that in another video. But what ended up happening initially was what happened to me yesterday. You know, I started getting busy with other things and just didn't have time to film, so I didn't put anything out. And it was that pressure that ultimately led to me continuing to not upload. But what happened right around the middle of that four month mark was I really started to ask myself whether or not I even wanted to make content for YouTube anymore. And when I first started asking that question, it felt kind of insulting. And after I thought about that for a while, I realized it was because I was asking the wrong question because it wasn't about whether or not I wanted to make content for YouTube. So it wasn't really about the motivation, it was about the action and whether or not I was just gonna get back to doing it. And so once I realized I was asking the wrong question and started asking the right question, I was able to start looking at things in a way that I could get myself back to doing what I wanted to be doing. But what's interesting is the change didn't happen right away because like I said, that gap was four months long and I started having this conversation with myself two months in. So it still took me two months to get another video uploaded. But I think what happens to us a lot of times is we get into these situations and we do just that. We start asking ourselves the wrong questions. We start beating ourselves up for the wrong reasons. And that keeps us down and keeps us from wanting to try and find the right questions and do the right things to get us back to whatever it is we wanna be doing. And so I just wanted to take a couple minutes real quick to talk about that and encourage you guys to ensure that you're asking yourselves the right questions when it comes to anything you're doing or something that you wanna get started back up to doing again. And so if we just take the time to figure out what that is and start asking those questions, we'll eventually be able to get back to whatever it is, or at least answer the question honestly for ourselves. So if we decide the answer is no, we can leave it behind without feeling any regret. And so I guess that's why this one year anniversary is kind of important to me in the sense that there was definitely a possibility that I wouldn't be here doing this today. And so that's all I got for you guys. Just wanted to take a quick minute to talk about that and kind of just celebrate myself for a second for actually making it an entire year on YouTube. So if you guys enjoyed the video, found this helpful, go ahead, do me a favor, smash that like for me, subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.